Sunday, Donald Trump took to his favorite social media platform to attack American workers for the failures of their corporate bosses. As usual, when his policies backfire, he turns it around and blames the victims, in this case, blaming the UAW, United Auto Workers, his own industry crushing tariffs and GM's corporate failures. Democrat UAW Local 1112 President David Green ought to get his act together and produce. GM let our country down, but other much better car companies are coming into the US. In droves. I want action on Lordstown fast. Stop complaining and get the job done. 38% unemployment. One Twitter user made their feelings abundantly clear, in the simplest terms, saying, Republican Donald Trump ought to get his act together and stop with the trade wars. Dot for some, it was personal. Dot wow, Trump singles out of union leader to bang, slam and hammer. Here Trump inexplicably seems angrier at the UAW than at GM, which is closing down Lordstown. I know Dave Green of the UAW. He's a solid, earnest labor leader, trying to do his best for GM workers. I can only imagine what it's like when you're a typical American like Dave and the President of the United States shoots out an angry thunderbolt of a tweet at you. For others, it was just another small part of the Trump strategy to attack whenever he fails. So far today Donald Trump has attacked General Motors, Saturday Night Live, John McCain, Donald Trump has not attacked white supremacist shooters. Oh, any of his followers tried to deflect. No, he attacked of union leader. It didn't go well for them. Read it again. He impugned GM by saying a much better product was coming. Another Trumpster tried to move the goalposts. Our cars are the best in the world, much better than imported pieces of junk like Tesla.